Hey there. Today we're going to take a look at Ubuntu. Ubuntu has a small update release that we're, uh, we're going to take a look at. And it says right here, the Ubuntu team has announced an update to the distribution's 22.04 LTS release. The new update 22.04.4 mostly fixes security bugs and includes a new install image for ARM servers. So I got it loaded up in a virtual machine. So let's head on over and take a look at Ubuntu 22.04.4. And here we are on the uh, virtual machine. So you got two buttons here, try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. So we're going to go ahead with the install. And English is selected automatically for me. That's correct. If you had another English, you would choose it here. Click continue. And we got updates and other software. What apps would you like to install to start with? I'll just do the normal installation and other options. Download updates while installing Ubuntu. Sure. And install third party software. Click continue and I'll set right here to erase disk and install now continue and my location is selected correctly as Los Angeles so I'll just click continue and let me add some uh, user info and give it a strong and very complicated password and for the purpose of this video I'll select login automatically and click continue there's another option here, use Active Directory. Nah, I'll just stick to this and let it go. All right, Ubuntu is installing. So I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when we come back, we should be ready to reboot into Ubuntu. And the installation is complete now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click restart now. And we are rebooting now, and we have a, oh, looks like a welcome screen. Uh, so right here it says connect your online accounts. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Ubuntu Pro, I'm going to skip for now. Uh, help them improve Ubuntu. Yes, send, send no, I'm not going to send nothing. And that should be it. But uh, is it stuck? What is it doing? Welcome to Ubuntu is not responding. Okay. And we got right here some thing ready to go. I'll just click on done. Let that go. All right. This is Ubuntu. And we have an icon right here. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But it was just right here in the middle. Anyways. We are in Ubuntu, so we have the panel on top, which is the GNOME panel, I believe, or their own Unity panel, or whatever you want to call it, which has the uh, system tray on the right, the single button that has all the options inside of it. And we got a software update now. I'll go ahead and uh, click on Remind Me Later. Like I was saying, the system tray has all of it combined into one, so you get your wire connection, your volume, your settings, lock, and your power options. And in the middle, you got your uh, calendar and event notifications. That's in the middle. And then you have this right here, which says activities. Clicking on that opens up the uh, applications. So you got the launcher right here. And these are the installed applications on Ubuntu. And that's page one. And this is page two. Then on our side panel, we have our pinned applications. So it looks like we have uh, Firefox, Thunderbird, Files, Rhythmbox, LibreOffice, Ubuntu software, help, mounted devices, and the trash. So let's open up Firefox, see what Firefox version we're using on Ubuntu. 22.04.4. Should be 123, but uh, let's confirm. I, I've been wrong plenty of times, so. Uh, it is Ubuntu 123.0. And this is the latest version of Ubuntu. I mean, not Ubuntu, uh, Firefox. All right. And then Thunderbird Mail. It's just a Mozilla mail reader. So you can set up uh, set up your emails like Google or, you know, Yahoo, whatever you use. You can all set it up right here. And let's see if we have an about. It's going to be the same about as uh, Firefox, I believe, or something similar. And it is Thunderbird 
And below that, we have files, which is our file manager. And it's just going to be simply called files. And you can change the look of it, get some other options, and then we can see the about. And it is files 42.6. And below that, we have Rhythmbox, which is our music player. And Rhythmbox is pretty much standard on Ubuntu. So you got your play cues, music, radio. Uh, you can navigate through songs if you have them on your system and also categories. So on the about, we got Rhythmbox 3.4.4. Then we have LibreOffice Writer. So I wonder if they have the uh, entire uh, suite of uh, Office. But we'll find out right now. So this is Libre Writer, which is opened up right now. But I think if you click on this X right here, it should open up the base, which tells you what all is installed. Like right here, you got Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Math Formula. It looks like base is not installed, but all these are because they're they're all highlighted except for base. So let's take a look at the help and the about. And it is LibreOffice 7.3.7.2. And under that we have, uh, well, let me close this first. And under LibreOffice, we have the Ubuntu software. Let's see if it takes a while to open up because I know a lot of times they have to rebuild their cache or since it's the first, first time being open. Yeah, software catalog is being long download. So yeah, it's just a, it's repos and all that. It's just going through all that in the background. It's kind of like, I guess, if you do a pseudo app update on your terminal, that's pretty much what it's doing in the background. All right, it's opened up now and you can see we got, it's pretty much similar to most of the uh, software stores out there. But you know, being that it's Ubuntu, it's probably a little bit more populated than all of them. And you got a couple tabs up here. This is the Explore tab that we're on right now. But if you click on Installed, it'll show you what's installed on your system. And then it also has a tab for Updates. So if you wanted to update your system, you can do it right here. And let's take a look, see if we can find the About. There's supposed to be a hamburger menu somewhere right here, but it's nowhere to be found. So uh, I guess we won't be taking a look at that. All right, we'll close that. And then we have the help, which is just a, just a help window. So if you want to find out about your system, you can just go through here and see all that you need to see. You got information on your desktop, sound video and picture, install and remove software, hardware and drivers, tips and tricks, networking, web and email, file folders and search, user and system settings, accessibility, and you can even get more help. So it's just a standard help menu for, uh, yeah. it's the standard help menu for GNOME, but Ubuntu has uh, incorporated it. And do we have an about? No, but this is probably gonna open up a web page. Oh no, it just open up more. Well, I believe the about is on the bottom. If I go back to the previous page and then I go to the bottom, there's the about. So you just click on that and it just, that's it. It doesn't even give you no version in for it. Well, yeah. Oh, here's the hamburger menu now. Oh, well, no. Thinking about the other app. All right. So if we go back to our applications, let's see. You got your standard uh, GNOME applications. But let's take a look at the system monitor. See how our system is running. Let me make this bigger. And we can see right here our resources. This is the CPU. So you can see the little graph right here. And then on a memory and swap, that's this graph right here. And for network, the graph is on the bottom right here. So you can see they're both uh, populating right now. See, we had a little spike on our network right here. But the CPU is the one that's doing the most work here. And if you want to know your processes that are running, they're all on this tab. So if you needed to shut down something for some reason, you will find it here and then you get the ID number. And about system monitor, system monitor 42.0.
So it's kind of like doing HTOP on a terminal. All right, let's go back to the application and see what else we got. Let's see what terminal they're running. I think it's just the uh, GNOME terminal, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But uh, let's confirm that. And it is GNOME terminal version 3.44.0 for GNOME 42. And do we have NeoFetch or anything like that installed? Let's find out. Nope. How about HTOP? No, they're not installed, but we already saw this resources. But uh, I guess we can do a simple sudo app install HTOP and NeoFetch. All right, that's installed now. So uh, let's take a look first at HTOP. And there you go. So see, these are the process on the bottom. And this is your uh, your system right here. So you got your cores, your memory and all that. And you got your load averages right here. All right, so it's running like 1.2 gigs. Not bad. I mean, it is Ubuntu. It's one of the more uh, known Says, oh, I forgot to take a look at NeoFetch. Go back to the terminal. Make it big. Now we'll do a NeoFetch. And there. All right, so right here you see Ubuntu 22.04.4. The kernel Ubuntu is using is 6.5.0. Desktop environment, known 42.9. And you also get your CPU, GPU, and memory on here, on this right here also, these three sections. Also, if you want to know what theme you're using or icons or window manager, it's pretty much all your basic info right here. Now I'll close the terminal. All right, let's see what, if there's anything else interesting right here. You got a couple games, Mahjong, Mines, Cheese for taking pictures or for your, from your webcam, things like that. And uh, software and updates. Then you got your settings. This settings right here is, is kind of set up like KDE where everything's right here on the left hand side. Scroll up and down. So if you want to set up your network, Bluetooth, background, appearance, notification, search, multitasking, and everything else right here, you just go through here and get all your settings uh, in order. And there isn't about here. So take a look. You see right here, it's Ubuntu. Give you the same info almost that you get like a NeoFetch or HTOP, just a more text version of it. All right, and that's pretty much a Ubuntu in a nutshell. This uh, update they released is basically for uh, security releases. So, uh, you know, something that's going on in the background, we don't even see it. So there's nothing really physically for us to watch. And there is also something about the ARM installer or something like that. So that's basically all they did. So uh, this is my quick uh, overview on Ubuntu. Just wanted to show you guys, let you guys know that there is a new uh, point release out. So if you want to download it and take a look at it, I'll go ahead and put the uh, links down in the video description. All right. And that's going to do it for Ubuntu 22.04.4. All right, you guys. And I'm out.